surfing the web online and on social media. That's certainly how teenagers spend a lot of hours every day. But studies have shown the adverse effects of too much screen time, and that's why the San Mateo County Office of Education has filed a lawsuit to hold social media companies accountable. Here's ABC 7 News reporter Liam Melendez with the details of that suit. We must finally hold social media companies accountable. President Biden taking a swing at social media companies for negatively influencing young people. Republican Senator Josh Hawley followed by introducing a bill to block children under 16 years old from social media. And now the San Mateo County Office of Education filing a lawsuit in federal court because of the impact the school district is seeing on their students. The social media platforms can be used to harm each other or to create havoc or to cause disruption or to shame um, students for various identities or um, the way in which they look or sound. We're talking about children here, so their brains are developing um, and what happens to them while their children carries through for their whole life. Anne Marie Murphy is the attorney representing the school district. According to the lawsuit, the district is spending large sums of money addressing and reversing the harm done by social media platforms like YouTube, Snapchat and TikTok. They want these companies to help pay for that. When we work with young people to help them, to help educate them about making responsible choices, all of that takes uh, resources. It takes time, it takes money, and it takes time away from learning. That's not to mention the damage to property created by viral challenges which are executed by students. Social media companies say they have put in place protections for young people and screen time reminders on their devices. The lawsuit says it's not nearly enough. The strategy now is to go after big tech the way big tobacco was targeted. Remember, once upon a time, cigarette ads were associated with good times and good flavor. I'm not sure we'll convince young people not to use social media or uh, fully educate them on the harms that can flow from social media. That's why as parents, as a community, as schools, we need, we need to um, also be taking steps. In Redwood City, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.